Hello, good day to you. It's a story that came out yesterday, uh, indeed, and uh, ministers are using a very obscure rule to deny MPs a vote on chlorinated chicken. <laughs> Now, you've probably heard this before, chlorinated chicken, but you probably don't know what it is. It's probably something that you don't want to eat, but it's um, coming in, unfortunately, so you have to be very careful what you eat. But this story, the uh, independent, uh, there is a anger over the ministers using an obscure rule which will block um, voting on this chlorinated chicken imports, which is obviously coming from... America, I believe. So this is going to block uh, imports of chlorinated chicken and hormone-fed beef. Their f ministers are facing criticism over their tactic to defeat an attempt to give powers to a new watchdog amid suspicions that future trade deals, particularly with the US, will water down food and, and animal welfare standards. Now, it goes on and on and on and on. Basically, it says that they're using a very, very obscure rule which will prevent the uh, MPs from discussing it. And it will say that ministers will dodge the vote by arguing that giving increased powers to the New Trade and Agricultural Commission currently temporary and advisory only, will impose an extra cost. After all, they have wasted billions of pounds on this stupid coronavirus. So, yeah, what's a few hundred more? They will argue that goes beyond the powers of the laws and so refuse a money resolution, preventing the amendment to the bill. Unfortunately, you may be like me and not know what the hell is it's all about you may have heard it on the news now you can always look it up because i have and here we go so this is about what is chlorinated chicken and this is the rspca so what is it you may be able to read that uh it is of course what is chlorinated chicken and exactly and should we be worried about it in the u.s once the chickens have been slaughtered and gutted they are examined and then they undergo a final chemical washing process to remove any harmful bacteria this process can also be known as pathogen reduction treatment prt now in in the uk the uh, chicken is not chlorinated uh, we take a more proactive approach to food safety which means it's not necessary to wash our chicken. And, uh, of course, the EU is um, have banned it. So it's banned. The problem with the EU has with chlorinated chicken is the antimicrobial treatments can be used to compensate for poor hygiene along the supply chain, particularly on farms, for example. Ever since 1997, Member states of the EU have refused to accept imports of chlorine-treated poultry. Obviously, this is a problem with the US where they do it, as per course. Now, what chicken processing uh, is allowed by the EU, they can only use cold air and water to decontaminate poultry to farm to fork principle of the EU aims at ensuring higher hygiene standards across all stages rather than particularly disinfection method at the end of the process. How safe is chlorinated chicken? Some might argue that it's not surprising to hear that US regulators are unequivocal in their verdict that chlorinated chicken is perfectly safe. Well, they would say that. 
So it's not a good thing that they're putting disinfectant over your chicken and then you cook it because as far as I'm aware, even though the battery farm chicken, you cook them in the oven, they're perfectly safe. You don't need to do anything else to them. Um, the only way that you're going to avoid this is to avoid any imported chicken. So it should say on the label, hopefully. Or go for organic chicken. And obviously that will cost you a little bit more money, but then it is worth it. And also it guarantees that this, um, this chicken has not been adulterated with um, absolutely toxic rubbish. The uh, upshot of this is obviously the uh, MPs have been bypassed. They cannot vote on it. It would have been uh, on this matter. So watch this space as far as imported chicken is concerned. Right, that's it then. Have a good day and bye for now.